congratulations Thank uh, you. Um, for the nomina nomination for its Scripter Awards. How does it feel to, to be here? Um, well, it's really, it's an honor, but if you feel like it's an honor for the whole crew and for the cast, I just feel like I'm here representing them. Um, there are so many people that go into making a show like this. Um, you know, 250, 300 people lay, are laboring away in the cold in Toronto all here, while, I'm, while I'm here in the nice warm weather uh, at an award show. So it it's, you know, on the one hand, you're flattered, but on the hand, mostly I'm proud of the people who I work with and because I know how hard they work. Now, tell me about the challenges of um, adapting this into a TV series. I mean, I'm one of those people who actually remember the movie back back then, mm -hmm. but now, now it's even bigger and better. Uh, well, it's tough to adapt something, especially when you're adapting a classic when the author is still around. Um, it's a huge benefit uh, because you actually have the human being to speak with and, and ask questions of. Um, but, you know, it's a sacred book. Um, it, it's, it was my favorite book growing up, and it was so uh, I certainly was on the side of the people who didn't want me to screw it up. Uh, so you really do feel a responsibility to tell. A, it's an important story to people, so you want to tell it in that way. Um, but you also can't let those things weigh you down and not tell the story in a compelling way. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not doing the Handmaid's Tale Appreciation Hour. you got to tell the story. And so uh, that was the, the biggest challenge was also kind of the biggest opportunity. It's a great book, which makes it very challenging and also a great opportunity. Terrific. And real fast, give us a teaser for uh, the next season. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Bruce.